Welcome my friend, the practice I'm sharing with you today is a full body flow that will both strengthen and stretch your body. It's also a minimal cues flow, which means I won't talk too much throughout the practice. I'll simply share the pose to flow into next without alignment cues. We'll hold each pose for about three to five breaths. I am a huge fan of minimal cues flows as they are a wonderful way to make your practice more mindful and introspective. Now for this reason, as well, the practice has been labeled as a intermediate level practice. The poses and transitions are not necessarily intermediate level, but since I will not be sharing breath or alignment cues, this practice is more suitable for experienced yogis. So before we begin, I would like to take a moment to share a warm and fuzzy and grateful welcome to one of our newest Awakened members, Tanya. We are so grateful to have you join our community. We appreciate your support and hope you are finding all the additional exclusive member-only practices and series supportive for you along your journey. Now with all of that shared, roll out your mat and let's flow, my friend. Arrive together in our easy seat, comfortable cross leg seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. We're just taking a moment to draw your attention inward, letting the outside world go. Fully arriving here on the mat for your practice. Slowly make your way to tabletop and flow through a few cat cows. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up into downward facing dog. In your own time, step your right foot forward. Lower your back knee to the mat. And on your inhalation, sweep your fingertips up to the sky for your low lunge. Shift your hips back, half splits. Coming forward, heel toeing your foot to the side of the mat for lizard pose. Let's keep that solo foot grounded to start. And 
open your foot to a 45 degree angle and fan your right knee open. Slowly return your solo foot to the mat. and heel to your front foot over to the opposite side, to the left side. And then lower your right knee down towards the right side for pigeon. Walk your palms towards the left side. So we're going to include a side body stretch here in our pigeon pose. Slowly return to center, rise. Going to take a quad stretch, king pigeon pose. So draw your back knee in, circle the left arm up and back. With control release, we'll step back to plank pose. In full plank pose or modified with knees to the mat, we'll take eight push-ups. So hug those elbows along your side body and keep a nice long spine. At your own pace. Move into Upward Facing Dog or Modified Upward Facing Dog. Downward Facing Dog. We'll take that sequence over to the second side. Step that left foot forward. softening your back knee to the mat. And when you're ready, you'll inhale those arms up for your low lunge. Shift your hips back for half splits. Walk your palms forward, heel to your foot off to the side for lizard pose, keeping your solo foot grounded to start. An option to 
Open your foot about a 45 degree angle and then fan your left knee over to the left side. Turn your solo foot to the mat and heel to your foot over to the opposite side. And then lower your knee down to the left side coming into your pigeon pose. Let's walk your palms over to the left side, adding in that side body stretch. So I walk your palms back to center, press up, moving into our king pigeon. So draw your heel towards your seat, right arm circles up and back. with control release. Finding your plank pose or taking modified plank pose and take those eight push-ups once more. Move into your upward facing dog for full up dog or modified. And release those hips back to your heels for child's pose. Make your way into downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. We're coming into warrior two pose next. So align your feet and then fan your arms up.
Slowly straighten your front leg, arms reach up. Extend your arms out, triangle pose. Slowly bend into your front knee, warrior two. Reverse warrior or peaceful warrior. As you're reaching back, straighten that front leg. Bend into your knee and return to warrior two. Open your front toes to the side of the mat, back toes to the back of the mat, warrior two on the second side. Slowly straighten your front leg, inhale your arms up and triangle pose. Bend into your front knee, warrior two. Peaceful warrior or reverse warrior, whatever you know this one as. Slowly strain that front leg, reach back. Bend back into your front knee, warrior two. Straighten your front leg, open your toes to the side of the mat and release into a wide leg forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway, open your front toes to the front of the mat, and then we'll step your front foot back for downward facing dog. And then shift forward into plank pose. Lift your right toes off the mat, point those toes and take 10 pulses with that leg. Lower those toes. Lift the opposite leg and then take 10 pulses on this side. Lower those toes. Then on your exhalation, lower halfway chaturanga. Breathe into upward facing dog. Release your hips to your heels for child's. Round forward. Bring your feet off to one side to bring them out in front of you and move into boat pose.
in your boat pose. We're gonna act like you're holding a ball in your hands and we're gonna take it side to side. Breathing as you lift up, exhaling as you lower. Option to just hold boat pose too. Continue doing this until you hear my voice again. Find stillness at center. Fully extend your legs out long and slowly lower to hover your body off the mat. Looking at your toes, upper body's lifted, hold it there for five, four, three, two, and one. Soften everything to the earth. Hug your knees into your chest. Release, we'll move into a twist. So lift shins parallel with the sky and on the exhale, lower your knees to the left side. Lift them back up to center and then lower them over to the right side. Return to center, extend your legs out long, Shavasana. Bring one sole foot to the mat and then the other. Roll over to your right side. With attention remaining inward, make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, relaxing your hands wherever feels comfortable. And just follow the natural ebb and flow of your inhales and of your exhales. On the inhale, visualize a sense of spaciousness in your body. And on the exhales, let go of any stagnation or sluggishness. Let's breathe and circle your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Your palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. As I shared at the beginning of the practice, I love Minimal Cues Flows for the additional mindfulness and introspective opportunities they provide. So if you do as well and want to see more Minimal Cues Flows, let me know in the comments. If you enjoy our free weekly yoga practice and you want more, I encourage you to check out Becoming an Awakened Member. We release an additional members only practice each week so you would get two weekly practices plus we have a library of over 250 exclusive members only practices within. So just click the join button below to explore. Sending so much love and light out to you my friend. Have a beautiful rest of your day.